Hey guys, welcome. This is Chris. Um, in this video, we're going to install R, install R Studio, and configure R Studio to use the Data Volley R resource from Science and Tangle. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download R Studio. Um, click on rstudio.com. And let's go to product. We're going to look at our studio. Um, we're going to download the desktop version, which is the IDE. At the bottom, click download our studio desktop. Okay, let's do another page where we can choose the version we want to do. We want to download the R studio desktop that is free. And it's going to give us to a page that says, first of all, to download our studio, you first need to install R, which is a language. So we're going to right click this and click into the download and install R, click on the base, and then click on download R for Windows. The version may change depending on when you see that video. And it's going to download the executable for your operating system. And once it is downloaded, we're just going to run the wizard, which is going to allow us to install R, the language, on your system, um, which is the base of what we're going to use in R Studio and what we're going to use with Data Volley. So open the file, wait for the wizard to appear. Choose your language, read the GNU general public license and accept it, then click next. Get the default location to install, default program to be installed, allow the startup options, make sure that it's connected with R, sure, make sure that it's connected and decide if you want to create launch, click next. And what it's doing to do is it's going to install on your print system the R language. Um, which is going to allow us to use the data volley libraries. Um, the site CRAN, C-R-A-N, is the official location where the applications, or if you want the libraries, the R libraries are stored, right? So that's when you try to install a library or get a library, it's going to go from CRAN. And if the library is not there in a different location, as we'll see, then we'll do something different. So keep that into your favorite. Um, because you may want to install some packages for linear regression, for hot map, whatever it is, right? Okay, that's it. R is installed on my system. I can actually close the tab, go back to download R Studio, and click into the download R Studio. So in my situation, I'm on Windows, where so it offers me the um, binaries and the executable on Windows. But if you look below, you'll see that you got R for Mac and R for Linux, depending on the distro you're using, Ubuntu and Fedora, so you can download that different version based on your Linux and execute and install it the same way I did it. Okay, R Studio is downloaded. It's verifying for viruses, and I'm going to open the file, which is going to start the wizard, which is going to allow me to install R Studio. Same thing. I'm going to allow default location installation, default grouping, and here we go, it's going to install. So R is the language, and you probably heard of uh, different other languages, software languages, software development languages like Java, C, Perl, Python. Um, R Studio needs a, a language below to do the compilation interpretation, but it's what we call an ID, integrated development environment. So that's the set of tool for a developer and the tools could be the management of the file, um, the management of the debug, seeing what is inside the variable and so on and so on. So we'll go into more detail about RStudio, but this is a difference between RStudio and R. R is the language, RStudio is a set of tools for us to work with R. Right. So this is install, it's finished, and now I should be able to run our studio. Oh, that's not the one. Our studio, here it is, that's the blue. And it's going to launch the integrated development environment. We're not going to go into the detail right now. Um, but the next step, what we need to do now is this is the way it's going to start. 
And what we need to do is we need to install and configure Data Volley in that environment. If you look into the packages here, which is what, what are the functions that are available to me, you will see that there is no Data Volley here, right? There's nothing under package that says Data Volley, so we'll need to install it. Um, so to install, uh, what we'll need to do is, is install the package and then load it, make it ready to work with. But because the package is not in CRAN, do you remember? Uh, it's inside this GitHub. What we'll need to do is we'll need to download and install it from that GitHub. So for that, I go here and it says I need to use the library remotes. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to type here and you saw I'm getting an error. So library remote is telling me, well, that's good. You want to use the library remotes, but it's not, I don't have it. So we'll need to install it. So let's do the install. I tap the first copper character in install packages. And I said, I want to install remotes and I click enter. What it's doing is it's going to the CRAN um, and it's going to tell CRAN, do you have something called remotes? And CRAN said, yep. And so you bring information and you install it. And so if you look into your packages there on the right, right, you see all these tabs here, I go into packages. And if I go to remote, I should be able to see remote here, right? Now, remote is available, but I want to load it. I want to get all the function ready to be used. So for that, I'm now going to use this library remote. And you'll see that this checkbox is going to be checked here. So I go library remote, enter, and now it's telling me that, yep, it's ready to use. Not only do I have the remote, but it's ready to use. So once we have that, we go back into that web page and we get copy that line and we're going to run it. So what it says is, it says install from GitHub and that stuff comes from remote. And it's install from GitHub, the package open volley data volley, which is what we want. So what it's doing is it's going to the web. It says, okay, it's a GitHub. I'm going to go into GitHub. I'm going to pull that information and I'm going to run and compile it. So it's pulling all that information that Ben and Adrian actually created in Data Volley, all that stuff, we'll go through detail after, and it's compiling it and it's making it ready into your environment and it's creating this kind of library that is going to allow us to read Data Volley file and work with Data Volley, right? So it's building all the documentation. We'll talk about this and it's going, making sure that the package is tested. And here we are, data volley is available. And if you look into the list of your packages, I should see a data volley, same thing. The package is not ready for use. So I can either click on it, right? Which is going to say, I want to use it, load it, or I can run that information. So let me use that data volley and let me make sure that data volley is a, uh, ready for working. So I go back into the GitHub and if you scroll, you'll see that you got a very, very small example, uh, three lines, and we'll go into the detail of three lines. So we talk about this one. That means that we make the library data volley available. This next line is R. So we're not going to go into R, but the way it goes, it says that put into the variable name X, the result of the call of that function called dv read, so data volley read, read the example file that is inside the library, right? So it's not a file on the file system, is we provide you with, an, uh, with a file. And then create the summary or show me the summary of that variable x. So this is a function from data volley, this is a function from r. So we, we can copy those three lines, even though the first one is already done. And I right click, copy, go to R, go out the bottom. I can paste and I do an enter. Right, so it's running the library, setting the library ready. It's loading the file example into the variable X and is making a summary of X. And so we see what is happening. And what is interesting is if you go into on the top right hand corner under the environment, you will see now X. And if you click on it, this show you the variable that is loaded and available for you to work with. And that is going to be 
in a future video. So what we did today is we downloaded R, we downloaded R Studio, we installed them, we downloaded and configured the library data volley, and we verify that the library was available and functioning properly. In the next videos, we'll go into more details on how to use that library.